Hello, this is a tutorial to show how to use the basics of LSDJ. LSDJ is a stands for stands for Little Sound DJ, and it is an application that exists for the Game Boy that you can actually write your own music. And I can show you a little bit of a demo right here. You can do you can make all sorts of cool little songs like this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to restart the emulator so I can. Or rather, restart the game. So, what I'm going to do is, this right here is our base screen. Now, you have four tracks. You have, the first track is the track that you start on. This is Pulse 1. Pulse 2 is the second track. Make sure you tap on the left or right keys, because if you hold them, it will scroll through them, and you might lose your track. You might lose your track of where you are. The third track is a wave track. That's an interesting track, and I'll go into a bit of more detail later. And the final track is a noise track. Your bass speed is at 128. Now you can change the speed if you click up and then select, which on default VBA is backspace up. So backspace up, and you will be able to modify what the tempo of your song is. You can modify this by pressing A, up, or down, which will increment or de decrement it by 10, I believe. Yes, by 10. And then if you do it left or right, it increments or decrements by um, 1. So if you want to make it go up by 1, you, I mean, if you want to make it go up by 1, you press A, right. Want it to go down, it's A, left. If you want it to go um, way up, by 10, it's A up, and to make it go way down, it's A down. You can also change the tune of your song by pressing down, and if you do the same kind of thing, um, go slowly up is uh, A right, go slowly down is A left, go really high up by a whole key is up A, and then go down by key is down A. So if you want to leave the screen, you push uh, select, ba uh, sorry, select left. Actually, select down, sorry, select down. Because if you press select up, you will go to the tempo and tune screen. Press select down to go back to the default screen. If you select down I, from the default screen, you will hit the groove screen. Now, I don't usually edit this, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go into a little bit of detail about that. It's kind of weird. Um, to make a new track, all you have to do is press A twice very quickly. Actually, you can pray, press A once, and it will work. I thought it was twice. Maybe I was thinking something else. So, you do that, and it makes a new track for you. If you press A twice quickly, it will make a new version, so a new empty track. So it'll pick the next empty track available. If you just push A once, it will duplicate the last one that you had. So if I want to make a single track, I can press A. If I want to make two tracks at the same time, but I don't want to duplicate them and I want to have them in two different channels, I press left to go into Pulse 2, and then I press double A. And now I have two different tracks. I go back to track uh, pulse one. And if I want to edit this track, what I will do is I will push uh, select and write. Now I'm in the chain. I call this the, uh, I actually call this a loop, but it's called the chain. Now the chain has two options available. You can either, pre you can either insert a new chain, or you can also change the the, the tune of the chain, so you can you can um, you can change you can transcribe it by any amount that you want. Twelve or C rather is the same as bringing up an octave. Minus twelve brings it down an octave. It works the same way as tune does. But we're going to just make a new track for now. So what we're going to do is now we're going to push A again, and now we're at zero. So um, well, that's the name of the track, but. That doesn't really mean much to you, I suppose. <laughs> so you push A. If you want to make an, a duplication of A, you push A again. 
but if you want to make a new track, you press double A. Make sure that you press down each time that you do this, because if you just push A, it won't actually do anything. If you push double A, it will, re it will make a new track, even if you already have one there. So please keep that in mind. If you want to check what particular loop you're on, you can always play. So the way you play is, I'm going to show you in a minute but how it works, but you can play a sound by pressing the start button at any time, and it will help you identify what section of this program you're in. It's very useful. So I want to put some notes in my track now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push select and write. So now I am in something called the phase, which I call the pattern. And what I can do is I can put in notes now. So if I want to put in a note, it's very simple. I just find where I want to go by pressing up or down, and I put in a note. The default note at the beginning will be C3, which is the lowest C that is available. It sounds like this. It kind of sounds crappy because of the fact that the default instrument sounds kind of, well, crappy. So we're currently in the left field right now as a default. If we want to go into the middle field, we press right. And then what we can do is we can press uh, select down. And this will lead us to the instrument panel. Now on the instrument panel, we cannot test the sound of the song. But we can, actually we can seems like. <laughs> but um, what we can do is we can actually edit some properties of the song. So if you press down one, two, two down, you can change the envelope of the sound. You can change the envelope by pressing um, A while holding down any of the directional keys like I described before. So left brings it down a little bit, putting it uh, going right changes it, um, makes the envelope longer. And I'll explain the pattern in a second. Um, pulling it up goes, uh, makes it louder, and pulling it down makes it quieter. So, basically, even if you can't see what's going on here, what you, um, there's, there's, a, there's a pattern to it. There is, um, at values 0 and 8, it will extend and it will not have an end to the note. But if you have it go from 7, it will end after a long while. I'll show you. So I'm going to set it to 9-7. 9 just is the volume, that's all. So notice how it goes away after a while. If I set it lower by pressing A left, it will go slower even. Now it goes really fast. Now if I set it past 8, it will actually get loud like that over time. It's like a it's like a sweep. So um, you can also change the waveform. If you go and press if you go and press uh, select up, you'll go back to the, the you'll go back to the uh, screen that has your notes. So now that we have an instrument that doesn't sound bad, we can add more notes. Now Right now, I pressed enter, or rather, it's start, technically, but I pressed enter to make the sound play. I can insert more sounds by just simply adding more notes. So, I can press down to indicate where I want to place the note, and then I can press A to insert the note. If I want to change a note, what I do is I hold A, and then I go and press either any of the directional keys to change the note. I can, if I have multiple instruments and I'm at a note right now, and you can check if you're on a note by slightly changing the pitch. That's a good way to check if you can't see. Um, what you can do is you go back to the instrument panel and then you can press, um, you can press A while pressing a directional button to change to the instrument that you want. Since that's a default instrument, it sounds like that. We can also change the waveform of an instrument. So what I'm going to do is I'm currently on the instrument channel. And you can tell because if I change 
If I press A to change the value, it changes the instrument, not the note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press select and then down to go back into the instrument panel. It should be noted that you start on the last one you edited. So the last one we edited was envelope. Wave is directly under envelope. So we're going to press down one down in order to go to wave. We can change wave the same way as we change a note by just simply um, pressing left or right while holding A. There's four different waveforms and they have a slightly different shape. We can also change whether or not, it, if we go down one from the waveform, we have output, which determines whether it, or not it goes from the left speaker or the right speaker, or both speakers. The length determines the length of the note. I usually just leave this empty and then I just let the envelope do the work. So um, if you go down one more, you're also going to hit sweep. The sweep is only affected in the Pulse 1 channel, so if you have a sweeping instrument in Pulse 2, it will not display a sweep. These have a different shape, and it's kind of weird how it works, but you can kind of just go through it and kind of experiment. It works the same way as editing a sound, or an, uh, like the note or an envelope, so we can... We can scroll through them and kind of experiment with it. Remember, if you press if you press A and left or right, and you notice what's changing in the sound, you can determine where you are just by the sound that it makes. Um, there's also vibration type, which affects pretty much how the sound kind of sounds when you're uh, with the sweep. I don't really use it. There's also PU tune underneath vibration type and PU uh, to fine. So PU to tune is right directly under vibration type. I'm, I think it changes the tune slightly. And PU to fine also changes the tune. I don't really use either of these, but you can if you want. Um, directly at the bottom, and if you keep pressing down from this point, it won't change anything, is the table. The table is an advanced feature that I'd like to cover in a different time since this is kind of just going over the basic features. But the table allows you to do all sorts of cool things like add like notes changing and pseudo chords and cool stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press up to get out of the instrument screen. And what's convenient about pressing down to get to the instrument screen is it will edit the instrument of the one that you're highlighted on. So that's pretty cool. Just a minor note. So right now, I'm in the phase screen. Now you can hear the loop <coughs> that is being played. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, chain screen, and I'm going to add some notes without playing them so that, uh, so that if you can't see, you can't tell what kind of notes I'm adding. So that way I can show you another thing. This will help you immensely in figuring out where you are located in the program. So just wait with me for just one second while I insert some random notes. So I'm back on the song screen. This is the default screen that you start on. I'm currently highlighted on track one, which is pulse one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the song. There's actually two tracks playing at the same time, if you may notice. This indicates that I'm actually on the song screen. The song screen will play every single track. If you play, if you press uh, select and right to go to the chain screen from there, you will notice that it will play all the tracks in the chain. So if you press enter, it will play all of the different tracks that are in the chain. There are currently three tr tracks in the chain. If I press uh, select and write again, it will only play the phase, which is the state that you're in now. So 
So as you go deeper, playing a note will help you determine where you are located inside of the program. Now that's it for a basic tutorial. There is one thing I did forget. If you're in the phase screen and you want to delete a note, let's say I put in a really ugly sounding note here. That sounds really weird. So what I want to do is I'm going to delete that note. Highlight the note that you're on. Remember, you can determine what note you're on by just simply changing the pitch like this. Oh. I'm on that high pitched one because I changed the pitch a little bit and I determined where it was. So what I can do is I can press A and B at the same time and the note gets deleted. If there's no note there, obviously it doesn't do anything. But yeah, I hope this helps out just a little bit. I'm not sure how much it will help out, but hopefully it will help out enough.